everyone and happy Pi Day! I hope you've all been having a mathematical week and maybe you've read something mathematical this week. If not, today's the day to do it. If you didn't know, 314 or March the 14th is Pi Day. In reference to pi, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, which equals approximately 3.14. It pains me to cut off there, especially as I know pi to 100 decimal places myself. Um, stick around to the end of the video if you want me to recite that. But anyways, as someone who loves maths and is studying it at uni, uh, it would be a bit of a betrayal of my being to not do some mathematical themed video for Pi Day. Also, I know there are definitely several people out there who would never let me live it down if I did not. So in honour of Pi Day, I wanted to talk about one of my favourite books, that being The French Mathematician by Tom Petzinus. While it's not specifically related to Pi in itself, it is a mathematical story and as I said, one of my favourite books. If I ever do a top 10 favourite books of all time video, this is pretty much guaranteed to be in it. I read this book in 2022, I believe. So this is not a new read, but I wanted to talk about this book, what it's about and why I love it, and hopefully draw your attention to a lovely, beautifully written mathematical book. And maybe you will even learn something along the way because this is essentially a fictionalised biography of a real mathematician, that being F. Rhys Galois. So, what is the French mathematician about? Well, as I said, this is a fictionalised biography of a real person, that being F. Rhys Galois who was a French mathematician during the early years of the 19th century. He was something of a prodigy and he made discoveries in the field of algebra and group theory. However, his potential was sadly cut short when he died at the young age of 21 in a mysterious duel, the reasoning behind which nobody really knows. And so this book is told from his perspective and it goes through basically his life from his young days at school to that duel, including speculating on why it might have happened. Although as far as I can tell, there is no evidence to back up this book's explanation of the backstory of the duel. So you already know my overall opinion on this book. I absolutely love it, but uh, obviously that's not very helpful in and of itself. You need to know why. First and foremost, the writing in this book is gorgeous. And I mean, you only need to look at the prologue to see that for yourself. In the prologue, we see uh, Galois uh, talking as his sort of spirit departs the world after the duel. And he utilizes the imaginary number I, and he speaks from this perspective, utilizing the imaginary number I in place of the personal pronoun I and it's appropriate because he's going off into the the ether as a spirit he's become an imaginary unit he's become I he's transcended the real out the reality just as I transcends the real numbers so I fell in love with this book from the prologue and the writing throughout the whole book is just gorgeous. I, I remember just absolutely loving the, the writing. It just felt so rich and poetic and meaningful. Whether it was talking about maths or not. The second lovely, amazing reason why I love this book is the stuff that I learned about Galois from it. And I remember uh, finishing this book and I went onto the Wikipedia page and just finding out, oh yeah, all this stuff really is true. Aside from, as I said, the backstory of the duel, which is in reality still a, pretty much a complete mystery. You know, they got his school right, his 
exploits, political exploits right. For example, Galois had some very strong feelings about the French Revolution and his stance in that, and as a result, he ended up getting chucked in prison a bunch of times for his uh, radical sort of actions and taking part in demonstrations and the like, which is not something that I expected from, you know, a mathematician. I don't think that's something that anybody really expects when they're thinking about the story of a mathematician. Even though he only lived for 21 years, it turns out Galois got up to quite a lot and led quite a, a rich and involved life. We also learn how, well, obviously he was a teen prodigy because he was able to become significant enough to be immortalised in such a short span of time, but also how when he submitted all these papers to his institutions and they were overseen by another mathematician named Koshi, um, and he, oh boy, Koshi just did not respect him at all and just, and just didn't care to review his papers or submit them or publish them or anything, which was pretty sad. And who knows what Galbar might have gone on to do and what discoveries he might have gone on to make, what, you know, what kind of positions or funding or whatever he may have been able to attain if he'd gotten published like that instead of just being overlooked and dismissed by Koshi. So that, that sucks, to put it mildly. So yeah, just learning about Galois, his background, his life, getting a feel for the kind of situation and world and time and place that he was born into and how that affected him. It was really interesting and seeing how he was more than just a mathematician. He was a a revolutionary as well and that was definitely very interesting and unexpected and the third reason why I really love this book is particularly in the first half when we're uh, going through his school days how he ex the way he expressed his love for mathematics just really resonated with me and it just I remember just feeling so seen and related to in in this um, just the way that the author of this book um, described the, the feeling of the love for mathematics. Oh boy, it just spoke to my soul. So in summary, this book is beautifully, gloriously and poetically written, manages to encapsulate the love of mathematics even in this sort of a novel setting as opposed to a just an informational non-fiction math book and it tells the story of Galois' life in a enriching and fascinating educational yet beautiful way that also truly exacerbates the tragedy of his very premature death and leaves you wondering what he would have gone on to do. So thank you for watching, that was my review of The French Mathematician by Tom Petzinus, one of my favourite books of all time, highly recommend reading. It's not heavily mathematical, so you don't need to have mathematical knowledge to read this, by the way. So if you liked that review and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel. And before I sign off, I have to fulfil the promise that I made at the start of this video since this is a pi day video, pi equals 3421597932384623384623382798416 That was pi to a hundred decimal places as promised. I memorized that years ago. Um, so yeah, there you there you go. Happy Pi Day everyone. Hope you do something awesome and mathematical today to celebrate. Maybe even if it's just learning a few digits of pi 
or just learning a bit more about Pi and, and what it is and what it's used for, go ahead and do that. It is a beautiful number and a near universally recognized symbol for the field that I love as a whole. And as always, but especially today, do lots of maths, read lots of books, even maths books, and I'm sure you'll have a wonderful mathematical day. And if it's a bit irrational too, so be it, just run with it.